Hey, welcome to Life in the Leadership Lane. I'm your host, Bruce Waller, where I get to talk to leaders that are making a difference in the workplace and in our community. What did they do to get started and what are they doing to stay there? And man, can you believe it? We are in season three, kicking off 2022 with another special guest. Uh, if I were to say, hey, hey, Rachel, you know, what is leadership to you? How, how would you respond to that? I think anybody can be a leader. Uh, it's always darkest before the I, dawn, I guess. I think it's about building a vision together. To me, the words that come to mind are influence, coaching and empowering others. It's as simple as the circle of concern versus the circle of innocent value. I like people saying, hey, thank you for that. Or, mm -hmm. hey, good job. Or, hey, we really trust Mike Coffin. Um, so I, I feel like my job is really to make everyone's life as easy as I can. I, I think leadership is hiring good people and mm -hmm. getting out of the way. I think the key, Bruce, to the silent pause is patience and practice. I always say we want to be the best eight hours of an employee's mm -hmm. day. Leadership is, is, you know, servant it's, leadership. You know, finding your lane, it, it, it's easy, but it's so hard. And when I realized I had arrived, when I started coming up with those solutions on my it's own. That leadership is getting them to want to do what you need them to do. I think leadership is about the ability to influence, to guide, um, and to lead people. Uh, believing right? in the possibility of ideas, it's about dreaming. Cause the effect is, everything that we do every day. Whether Decide what's important and never take it for granted. To move one step closer to our own personal definition of success, you have to have two things in place. You have to be willing and able. And I think as a leader, you've got to be open to hearing those different ideas. Tell the stories behind it, people start relating. And if you don't have the stories, ask for stories. Even so my grandmother, least said, easiest manpower. Power is, is in a lot of ways based upon who you know and how you can get things done. To me, cause the effect is making a difference. And I think trust is twofold, right? There's competence mm. and there's character. It's and that so almost like coaching, supporting others so they can be their best. And then my job is I take the machete and I cut down the jungle so that the people behind me have a clear path to go do what they need to do. That it is your honor to be able to leave the person that you're working with mm. in a better place than they were before. Mm. And he encouraged me to get connected with Dallas HR. And that was the best advice ever. The studies are now showing that it impacts our ability to enjoy life. I do this all the time and I share it with others is to set an intention. You, organizations mm. do not change. Mm. Pe people do. Like we're really good at justifying our own behaviors. Mm. They're not stupid anymore. They're just human. But just They're being just clear about the timelines of the overall hiring process and what to expect. That, mm. that we need to be willing to lead with heart. And this is our ability to meet people where they are. To help. Look for something that you can believe um, in. Where people follow you because of who you are mm. and what you represent. I Not ended up really falling in love with leadership when I saw people make mistakes and show their vulnerability. I, I often tell people, take an inventory. What brings you joy and what are your non-preferred activities? And take when I look out professionally, I look for people who have been wildly successful in their careers. You are a great player. He just believed in me, you know? I will tell you, Bruce, it was fantastic. Well, what you did yesterday doesn't necessarily mean that you get extra bonus pins for tomorrow. Time so I... tells you something, even if it's not good for you. Being nice is just telling you what you want to hear. And the best leaders are full of humility and knowing that they can't do it themselves and they need their teams to be successful. Conducting yourself in such a way that others want to be like you or want to follow you. So leadership to me is just, you know, I think inspiring all those different levels, helping them at whatever level that they are believe in what, what they can do next. That everyone has the ability to influence other people. To me, when you're recognizing somebody's worth, you're showing appreciation.